water. It's so ordinary, so readily available that we often take it for granted, yet this humble liquid is the lifeblood of our bodies, a crucial component that keeps every system functioning. Imagine our bodies as intricate machines, with water acting as the oil that keeps everything running smoothly. Without it, the gears grind to a halt and the entire system starts to malfunction. It regulates our internal temperature, much like a car's radiator prevents overheating. It transports nutrients to our cells, providing the building blocks for energy and repair. Every single cell in our body, from the tip of our nose to the end of our toes, relies on water to function. Given water's starring role in our survival, it's no the state of inadequate water intake sets off a chain reaction that can range from mildly uncomfortable to downright life-threatening. Think of it like a slow leak in a tire. At first, you might not even notice the subtle change in pressure, but as the leak continues, the tire deflates further, making it harder and harder to steer. Eventually, the tire goes completely flat, leaving you stranded. Understanding the stages of dehydration is crucial as it allows us to recognize the warning signs our bodies send out. By paying attention to these signals and taking action early on, we can prevent the situation from escalating into a full-blown crisis. Imagine yourself on a sweltering summer day, the sun beating down with relentless intensity. You've been active, perhaps playing a sport or simply running errands and your body has been working overtime to stay cool. As you exert yourself, you lose water through sweat, through your breath, even through the simple act of breathing. At first, these losses are subtle, barely noticeable. You might feel a slight dryness in your mouth, a passing thought that you might be thirsty. This is your body's early warning system, a gentle nudge to remind you that it needs replenishing. When this balance is disrupted, even slightly, sensors in the brain sound the alarm, prompting us to reach for a refreshing drink. As the water deficit grows, so do the signals. The initial whispers of thirst become more insistent, urging you to take notice. Your mouth feels drier, your tongue might feel a bit sticky and swallowing becomes slightly more difficult. But the signs of dehydration extend far beyond a parched mouth. You might notice that your urine, usually pale yellow, has become a darker, more concentrated shade. This is your body's way of conserving water, holding onto every precious drop. Headaches are another common symptom of mild dehydration as the body becomes increasingly deprived of fluids. Blood volume can decrease slightly, leading to a reduction in blood flow to the brain. This can trigger a throbbing headache, often felt at the front or the back of the head. While the physical symptoms of dehydration are often the first to appear, our cognitive function can also take a hit when we're running low on fluids. Think of your brain as a complex computer relying on a constant flow of electricity to operate at peak performance. Dehydration disrupts this flow, leading to a noticeable decline in mental sharpness. You might find it harder to concentrate on tasks, whether it's reading a book, following a conversation, or simply remembering where you put your keys. Decision-making abilities can also be impaired as the brain struggles to process information efficiently. Short-term memory, too, can be affected. These cognitive changes, though subtle at first, highlight the importance of staying hydrated for optimal brain function. As we venture further into the terrain of dehydration, the landscape becomes more severe. Those initial whispers of thirst transform into a persistent, almost desperate plea from our bodies. The dryness in our mouths intensifies, feeling more like cotton balls than tongues. Swallowing becomes a chore, each gulp a reminder of the precious liquid our bodies crave. The kidneys, responsible for filtering waste products from the bloodstream, go into overdrive, concentrating urine to a deep amber hue. This reduction in urine output, while a necessary measure to prevent further fluid loss, is a clear indication that we've strayed far from the oasis of hydration. 
The skin, our largest organ and a key player in regulating body temperature, also feels the impact. Its natural elasticity diminishes, losing its plumpness and becoming dry to the touch. In the face of prolonged dehydration, our bodies become masters of adaptation, shifting and prioritizing resources in a desperate bid for survival. With water in short supply, non-essential functions are put on hold, while vital organs like the heart, lungs and brain receive preferential treatment. Blood volume, a key indicator of hydration status, begins to decline as the body prioritizes the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to vital organs. This decrease in blood volume can lead to a drop in blood pressure, making it harder for the heart to circulate blood efficiently. To compensate for this challenge, the heart rate increases, pumping faster in an attempt to maintain blood flow to vital organs. Meanwhile, breathing may become faster and shallower as the body struggles to maintain adequate oxygen levels. When dehydration strikes under the relentless glare of the sun, the consequences can be particularly severe. Our bodies, designed to maintain a constant internal temperature, rely heavily on water for cooling. Sweat, that salty secretion produced by our sweat glands, plays a crucial role in this process, evaporating from the skin's surface and carrying away excess heat. However, when we're dehydrated, our sweat glands struggle to produce enough sweat to keep up with the body's cooling demands. This can lead to a dangerous rise in internal temperature, a condition known as heat exhaustion. Symptoms of heat exhaustion include heavy sweating, weakness, dizziness, headache, nausea and muscle cramps. If left unaddressed, heat exhaustion can progress to heat stroke, a life-threatening condition in which the body's internal temperature can soar to dangerously high levels. As the dominoes of dehydration continue to fall, we transition from the realm of mild dehydration to a more concerning state, moderate dehydration. The body's compensatory mechanisms, while valiant in their efforts, are becoming increasingly overwhelmed. The symptoms, once subtle whispers, now shout their warnings. Thirst intensifies, becoming an all-consuming sensation. Headaches pound with unrelenting force, making it nearly impossible to focus on anything else. Fatigue deepens, transforming from a mild lack of energy to a state of utter exhaustion. Muscle cramps, those sudden involuntary contractions, may strike particularly in the legs and abdomen. These cramps are often attributed to electrolyte imbalances as the body loses not only water but also essential minerals like sodium, potassium and chloride through sweat and urine. The landscape of dehydration now transforms into a desolate wasteland, a stark contrast to the once thriving ecosystem within our bodies. Severe dehydration, a life-threatening condition, takes hold, pushing our physiological limits to the brink. The body's valiant attempts at compensation are no longer enough to maintain equilibrium. The initial whispers of thirst have morphed into a deafening roar, a desperate plea for relief that can no longer be ignored. Yet as dehydration advances, even this primal urge can become muddled. The body nearing its breaking point may struggle to send clear signals leading to a dangerous delay in seeking help. The once subtle signs of fluid loss now blare like sirens. Urine, if produced at all, is scant and dark, resembling concentrated apple juice. As severe dehydration tightens its grip, our internal systems, once working in perfect harmony, begin to falter. The delicate balance that keeps us alive is thrown into disarray as the body struggles to prioritize resources in the face of dwindling reserves. The circulatory system, responsible for transporting oxygen and nutrients throughout the body, bears the brunt of the crisis. With blood volume plummeting, the heart races frantically, attempting to compensate for the reduced fluid levels. However, this desperate measure only exacerbates the problem, putting a tremendous strain on the already overworked organ. Blood pressure plummets, depriving vital organs of the oxygen-rich blood they need to function. 
The body, in a last-ditch effort to preserve its core, shunts blood away from the extremities, prioritizing the brain, heart, and lungs. This explains why hands and feet often feel cold and clammy during severe dehydration as blood flow to these areas is reduced. The brain, that intricate network of billions of neurons, relies heavily on a constant supply of water and electrolytes to function optimally. During severe dehydration, as these essential elements become depleted, our cognitive abilities suffer a dramatic decline, mirroring the body's overall deterioration. Confusion sets in, a disorienting fog that clouds our thoughts and impairs our judgment. Simple tasks, once effortless, become daunting challenges. Speech may become slurred, as if we've had one too many drinks, but the cause here is far more sinister. Short-term memory, already compromised during milder stages of dehydration, now abandons us entirely. We may struggle to recall recent events or follow simple instructions. The final act of dehydration is a harrowing journey towards system collapse, a point of no return where the body can no longer sustain life. As the curtain begins to fall, the body enters a state of shock, a last-ditch effort to preserve its most vital functions. Blood pressure plummets to dangerously low levels, making it nearly impossible for the heart to circulate blood effectively. Organs, starved of oxygen and nutrients, begin to shut down one by one. The kidneys, already on the verge of failure, cease to function altogether. Unconsciousness descends. A merciful reprieve from the torment of dehydration's final stages. Without immediate medical intervention, death is inevitable. Our journey through the stages of dehydration, while unsettling at times, serves as a powerful reminder of the profound impact water has on our existence. We've witnessed the body's remarkable resilience, its ability to adapt and compensate in the face of adversity. But we have also glimpsed its fragility, the delicate balance that can be easily disrupted when we neglect our most basic need hydration. Think of our bodies as grand orchestras, each organ playing a vital role in the symphony of life. Water, in this analogy, is the conductor, ensuring that every instrument is in tune and playing in harmony. When we deprive our bodies of water, the music falters, the tempo slows, and the once harmonious melody descends into a discordant cacophony. Recognizing these signals from the subtle to the severe is paramount in preventing a minor deficit from escalating into a life-threatening crisis. The good news is that dehydration, in most cases, is entirely preventable. Unlike other medical conditions that require complex treatments or lifestyle overhauls, maintaining proper hydration is remarkably simple. Drink water. Think of it not as a chore, but as an act of self-care, a gift you give your body to, thank it for its tireless efforts. Make water your beverage of choice throughout the day, keeping a reusable bottle within arm's reach. Carry it with you like a loyal companion, a constant reminder to take a sip, even when you don't feel particularly thirsty. Remember, thirst is often a lagging indicator of dehydration, meaning by the time you feel thirsty, your body is already experiencing a fluid deficit. Don't wait for your body to send out distress signals. Instead, adopt a proactive approach, sipping water consistently throughout the day to preempt those signals altogether. Incorporate water-rich fruits and vegetables into your diet, such as watermelon, cucumbers, spinach and strawberries. These foods not only provide essential vitamins and minerals, but also contribute to your overall fluid intake, making hydration a delicious and enjoyable experience. As we conclude our exploration of dehydration, let us raise a glass, or rather a reusable water bottle, to this extraordinary elixir that sustains us. Water, in its simplicity, is nothing short of a miracle, a life-giving force that courses through our veins, animating our bodies and enabling us to experience the world in all its wonder. Let us not take this precious resource for granted. Let us remember the crucial role it plays in our health, our well-being and our very survival. 
Let us make a conscious effort to prioritize hydration, not just for ourselves, but for future generations who will inherit this planet and its finite resources. The next time you reach for a glass of water, take a moment to appreciate the journey it has taken from the clouds to the ground and finally to your lips. It is a journey that mirrors our own, a testament to the interconnectedness of all living things. So, here's to H2O, the unsung hero of our existence, the lifeblood that flows within us all. May we never take it for granted and may we always strive to keep our bodies and our planet hydrated, healthy and thriving.